guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching so today I'm gonna be doing my April favorites yeah love doing that <laughs> want to see what I've been loving for the month of April keep on watching the first thing I've been loving for the month of April is my L'Oreal true match foundation this foundation is overall the best foundation out there in the drugstore um, it just gives a nice flawless look to your face it is full coverage it works great with the beauty blender and everyone raves about this on YouTube so it is definitely an A plus so if you haven't tried the true match L'Oreal true match foundation go out and try it because this whole line is amazing and I just love 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 this foundation <laughs> Okay, the next thing I've been loving for the month of April is this BB cream that I got in my Ipsy bag last month, and it's um, the Perfect Cover BB Cream by Misha, I think that's what the name is. I feel it's the perfect BB cream out there compared to the other ones I've tried. I've tried um, the Garnier, I've tried Olay, I love those, but this BB cream is amazing. I feel like it covers, it, it's like your skin, but better. If you get what I'm saying but sometimes BB creams tend to act as a moisturizer and give minimal coverage or minimum color to your face it just makes you look white like you're putting sunscreen on your face which really what a BB cream is is a beauty balm it's supposed to perfect a lot of flaws you have on your face it has different different advantages when you use a product like a BB cream so this one does amazing to my face. It gives a nice color. It gives a nice coverage. Definitely, definitely do love this BB cream. Yes, the Misha BB cream is amazeballs. This concealer is an oldie but goodie. I have to put this in my favorites. And it's the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. This concealer is amazing. I have it on my face today. And it just gives a nice brightening look under your eyes, along your nose. It gives a nice highlight effect. So I definitely do love it and it looks great when you're taking pictures. It gives a nice flawless look and a nice HD look to your pictures. I mean, it's flawless, girl. Okay. Next is a gift that I received from my boyfriend from starting cosmetology school. And it's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Oh, yeah. This palette is amazing. It smells delicious. Every time I open this up, I crave chocolate. It is made with 100% cocoa powder, so it's all natural. So it smells amazing. It, all these colors are great, great pigmentation. As you can tell, look at that. And I'll swatch the nice highlight color right there. These are great. This look I have on my face with my Get Ready With Me video is based on this palette. So if you have not picked up the Chocolate Bar Palette or you're debating on getting the Chocolate Bar Palette, pick it up. To be honest, I think it's better than Make It 3 Palette. I can't the palette's feelings. Next is another oldie but goodie and it's my BH10 Color Palette. These are professional blushes. You get all the blushes selections, different colors. You also get a few, you get a dark bronzer, you get a medium bronzer, and you get mostly of a light bronze. You get some bronzing colors in there. So you can contour your face with different skin tones, and then you have your selections of blushes. You can mix and match different colors to create your own blush color, which I've done before. I mixed this one and that one to give a nice pink color. I would mix like these two colors to get a nice coral color, and maybe I will add these two colors to lighten it up, like these two colors to give a nice peachy tone to it. Well, match these two and give a nice subtle coral. The combinations are endless when you get palettes like this. So if you are looking into getting a blush palette, it's definitely the BH. Um, 10 color palette is the way to go. It's pretty cheap. If you have a kit, this is great to put in your kit because, I like I said, the combinations are endless. My Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. It's that time of year when I take out this setting spray. It's it's a cooling and hydrating setting spray so it's great when the weather getting hot and you know it's not hot it's not warm yet in New York we're still a little chilly out there but I started breaking this bad boy out just to set my foundation and I love it deodorant it's the secret deodorant but it's the 
Guava Vanilla. This smells so amazing. I'm so happy I came across this deodorant because it smells delicious. I've never raved about a deodorant ever in my life, but this Vava Vanilla deodorant is amazing. You need to run, run to your stores right now and smell this deodorant. And I think, I'm telling you, once you smell it, you're going to buy it. And when you buy it, let me know and we can be twins. <laughs> Smelling good besties. This is lipstick and it's from the CoverGirl collection and the colors in Bombshell. Look at that. It's like BAM in your face. I have it on my lips today. It goes with my get ready with me look. I love this color. Wear a nice dark eye and a pink lip. I'm into that right now even though it's gonna it's spring out. I'm rocking the dark lip. I mean the, the dark eyes. <laughs> um, but that's just me. I'm all about the edge. But I do do love this color. Great pigmentation. It's moisturizing on the lips. Not too drying. The only thing is it smells weird, it smells like your grandmother's lipstick. <laughs> now polishes, and these, this color combo I've had on my nails in previous videos because I got a manicure already, fill in, fill in, I changed my color, but these two colors I had in my past, uh, past episode, past videos, and I've gotten a lot of compliments on this nail combo, which I have to give credit to my best friend, Kristen. You guys all know her. She does my Ipsy bags with me, my unboxing Ipsy bags, and she told me about this color combo, and I, when I got a fill-in that time, I put it on my nails, and every time when someone would see my nails, they'd be like, oh my god, I love your color of your nails. So, the color is the Essie Butler Please, and any hot pink color would be great. This one is the Circus by Andrea Choice, and the color is in Ringmaster. Color combo is when you use your statement finger, which is my middle finger, <laughs> is my statement finger. So, yeah, so I put all my nails colored with Butler Please, and then my statement finger will be colored Ringmaster or a hot pink color. Cannot find Butler Please. Sally Hansen has a color that is a dupe for the Essie. Butler, please, and the color is in Pacific Blue. Nail polish I've been loving, and I have it on my nails today, except for my middle finger. So all these fingers are this color, and it's by the brand Station. And the color is called, of course, set. Oh, baller. Of course, set. I'll call you. So it's a nice baby pink color, nice for the springtime. And actually, if you're getting a French manicure, I think this wood color will look great as your base, and then put the white tip on top. Okay, next is um, favorite shoes I've been loving for April and it's definitely 24. I'm getting into rewatching 24 because it's coming back in May, the first week of May. I'm pretty sure I thought I was a big 24 fan. I love Kiefer Sutherland. That whole show is amazing. So I wanted to rewatch the show because now it's coming back and I want to refresh my memory of what was going on so I'm only on season one like I said I have no time I work and I go to school so most of my time I'm running around back and forth from work to school so by the time I get home I only have time to maybe watch one video and I'm like <sighs> out cold <laughs> the next show I've been loving that I watched a few episodes is Boardwork Empire and Boardwork Empire is pretty cool um, they film some scenes out here on Staten Island, close to my house, and they film some in Atlantic City, but the only reason why I watch it is because I have a thing right now, if you don't know yet, is I have a thing for Michael Pitt. He is so sexy. I want to meet him. I think he is gorge, and every time he's on every any scene he's on Boardwalk Empire, I'm like... It just, it just takes my breath away. The <laughs> songs I've been loving for the month of April is definitely Rihanna's song, What Now. I've been playing it most of the time when I'm driving home from school at like 9.30 at night because my school's from 5 to 9. So around like 9.30 I'm driving home and I'm just screaming. I'm like, what now? The song I've been loving and I've been listening to constantly is definitely my favorite band, The Butcher Babies. And the song I've been listening to constantly is from their EP. And it's called Mr. Slow Death. It's a really, like, upbeat song. Like, you just want to go out there and just 
rage and rawr, get all like your anger out and yeah so when I want to get like more upbeat and I'm like badass I listen to my metal music which is mostly butcher babies <laughs> but um, I listen to some but right now I'm just I'm just representing the butcher babies I just I just love them I love I, I just love their music they're great and they kick ass. Okay guys, this is the end of my favorites video for the month of April. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know any of your favorites down in the comment box and I'll try them and maybe they'll end up in next month's favorites. And like always, always like up this video. Please leave me a comment. And if you're watching my videos for the first time, please subscribe to become one of my members in my doll army. I love you guys all and I'll see you in my next video. And remember, be strong, be different, and be creative. Bye, dolls.